delete this game right now. I'm not used to doing this. It's been a while. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's that disabled guy here. And I've finally decided to make another video after months of not doing it. Because I had fuck all ideas. So, I still have fuck all ideas. But today, I'm just going to do a rant. Because I feel like moaning. I do that a lot. It's true. Anyway, today's little rant I have is about the UK government's response to the coronavirus pandemic, basically, because I have opinions on this, and I want to share them. So, the main issue I have is the way they've responded with lockdowns and other stuff, etc. Forgive me, this is going to be a rambling video because it's going to be, because I do ramble. Anyone that knows me will tell you. The thing I don't understand was that they decided to open universities and schools, but then they turned around and said, you can only have six people in a room, whilst proceeding to keep universities open, because that makes sense. Last time I checked, there's normally a lot more than six people in the room at universities. Especially when they're having lectures. And yes, there is Zoom, but Zoom's irritating, everyone knows this. They also were saying pubs need to close at 10. Which would mean everyone leaves the pub at the exact same time. And everyone leaves through the same fucking door. So, not social distancing there, is it, mate? And also, the way they've explained things is what's fucking me off. Because they're not explaining anything clearly. They, the other day I heard them comparing it to leaving a yoghurt in the fucking fridge. It's not a yoghurt that can be taken out of the fridge <laughs> and put back in multiple times. It's really tricky to handle. That wouldn't that even make sense. Why does Boris compare everything to fucking food? It's like he's permanently hungry. The response the government has been is kind of like Vicky Pollard of Little Britain. Because they keep changing their mind. It's like, yeah but, no but. Yeah, but, no, but. Yeah, but, new, but. Yeah, but, new, but. So, like, pick a story and stick to it. Not give us stupid fucking slogans like hand, face, face. I'm not fucking retarded. I, I mean, you wouldn't think that looking at me. Shut up. Basically, what I've noticed, nobody seems to have a fucking clue what the hell to do with this virus. Nobody. Everyone's coming up with different ideas, and most of them don't make any bloody sense. I'm starting to think COVID also makes you retarded at the same time, whilst also killing you. See, I'm, I'm dying anyway, so I mean, don't bother me that much. Just speed things up, won't it? In my personal opinion, I don't think universities or schools should be open. I think they were just trying to get things back to normal too quickly. So I think of the education, I was like, I'll also think of the death. But they haven't even got a handle on COVID-19 yet, so I don't know why we're opening them anyway. As we're recording this video, they I think they should have closed schools a few weeks ago, but they haven't done that either because they like to make things up as they go along. It's what they do. And they've decided to have a break on the lockdown for Christmas. Because COVID-19 doesn't do it at Christmas. It sees people having family meals together. It's like, oh, I can't give them the virus. That's horrible. COVID had standards. It's very respectful, apparently. Even though it kills old people and babies and people. Yes, but it doesn't do it on Christmas or in pubs. Only after 10pm it goes into pubs. And schools, it doesn't want to interfere with your education. So no one would get infected there either. And also, the lockdown that's happened, that we've been, it hasn't fucking worked. But as of a few days ago, the R rate fucking went up. Up. We're in lockdown and it's going up. Someone is not doing their fucking job properly. Or it's just people are so fed up with the sheer incompetence of the government that they just like, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm going to go out and get smashed and fuck if I get COVID and panic by because of Brexit and that. 
people need to stop panic buying. We're not going to be in an apocalypse. Okay. No apocalypse is happening. Except COVID. But shush. Now let's talk about the vaccine. Because this is always a controversial subject. Because you always get anti-vaxxers who think vaccines cause fucking autism. Which it doesn't. The only one who has autism is you, love. Okay. I don't know, I hate anti-vaxxers as much as the next guy. But I can't blame some people being sceptical of the vaccine. Because they did it quite quickly. And I'm pretty sure there was a vaccine that went terribly wrong years ago. And that was like being manufactured for like 10 years. There's only been a few months. They've skipped a lot of red tape here, I think. Which is probably the problem. People are sceptical, mainly, of the, of the vaccine, I think. It's because they're sceptical of the government. Because they don't seem to know what they're fucking doing. So why would you trust them jabbing you with some substance you don't know what the fuck it is? Also, some of them have a live vaccine of COVID in which I don't know if they do. But if they do, fuck that shit, I ain't having that. I wouldn't be able to anyway, because... My immune system is fucked. Just like my legs. And it's not the kind of fucked I was hoping for. I don't know why I said that. I just felt like it. So I did. This is a rambly video. I don't care. Deal with it. So with the vaccine, I probably will get it at some point. But I don't want to get it yet. Um, I want to see if anyone kills everyone dies first. You know, just to be sure. I don't trust anything until I see it with my own eyes. I don't trust things when people just tell me. I want to prove the facts first before I take them as fact. Thank you guys for watching this rambly video. It was kind of pointless, but I did it anyway. Because it just infuriates the fuck out of me. If you guys enjoyed this video, somehow, if you enjoyed hearing a cripple ramble for a few minutes, whatever tickles your pickle. If you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel if you want more stuff like this. Or whatever I decide to upload, because I'm a random human being. Like if you enjoyed this video, hit the bell if you're going to be notified when I eventually actually decide to upload a video for once. Because I have no idea what to do half the time. If anyone has any ideas, please let me know. If you need help, please. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. I've been your favourite cripple, that disabled guy, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.